How did I lose? How was it possible? I'm sure the votes were rigged. Now these are questions we ask ourselves when we are confident that we won. When a close one next to us turns us, you won, Robin. I have no idea how the other contestants won. Now let me look around the room to my fellow Toastmasters and guests and ask that question. Have you all faced this when you all felt, John, that you won, but the results turned out to be different? Every year. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, Jahangir, what about you all? Yes, absolutely. Competitors, non-competitors, and fellow guests. Good evening. Good evening. As I stand here today and make inferences to competition, I want to point out to a more serious <coughs> effect on all of us, which I like to call daylight robbery. Now, what is daylight robbery? Webster's defines daylight robbery as procrastination. But for me, it's us robbing ourselves of reaching even bigger goals. Now, years back, when I was growing up, my mom always reminded me to respect time. She said, respect time, son, and time will respect you. But what do moms know? They're just there to bring us up. They're just there to make sure we have a beautiful childhood. They're just there to make sure we are safe. We know better than our mom, don't we? No. <laughs> <laughs> Years later, I grew up. Time didn't wait. I finished school, I finished college, I got a job, and I got a girl. Oh. <laughs> yes. That's interesting. That's but this point that my mom told me about, which didn't sink in, affected me. <laughs> my girl used to come up to me and tell me, Roman, you have the cutest smile. <laughs> we can go out and make a nice, big, cute family. But there I was, Reuben, saying, let's talk about it later, honey. Not now. <laughs> Little did I know that in today's world, people value time, people value a certain occasion. And while I was procrastinating, when I, while I was saying no indirectly, there she goes out and gets someone else. At the same time when I was with her. Yes, I was an innocent boy who didn't know what was happening. And when she came up to me one day and said, Reuben, come and see my, my fiancé. I was flabbergasted. I was not flabbergasted. I was not flabbergasted at what she had gone out and done. Because I wish her, I wish her fiance Mike all the best in their life. I was flabbergasted because it struck me that this procrastination, this one thing that my mom brought me up and told me, respect time and time will respect you. I let that fade away. I let that affect me Personally, and I saw that it was affecting me professionally. And yes, this, this procrastination, my fellow thieves, is what I call daylight robbery. Very famous Chinese proverbs say, every step, every thousand miles starts with a single step. You have other problems to tell you, it's better to start today, because one year from now, you will realize that today was better than procrastination. So, 
with this effect on me personally, with what it was doing to me professionally, and with all my mom had to say when I was growing up, I realized it's not the others, it's not the wrong results, it's not the wrong opinions that can affect us the most, but it's ourselves that affect us. Because day in and day out, we are robbing ourselves. We are indirectly robbing ourselves of attaining even better, even bigger. While I do not wish any of this to happen to you, I would also like to let you know that I'm with someone else right now. <laughs> I do urge you all to go ahead and stop robbing yourselves of reaching even greater heights, even greater goals. Stop being thieves, not to others, and not of others, but of yourselves. Don't procrastinate. Back to you.